Well, since we've had a dodgy Dyson DC40 Mark II, but yet, here we are, funny how these things look. This one came from, if I recall correctly, a friend of my director at work. Although all I really know is one day at two o'clock, oh Sam, there's a hoover in my car for you that you can have. Don't let us forget before we go. And I did not forget. And here we are. She's been sat a while. I haven't touched it. Although I think I know of one thing that is wrong. But now somebody wants it. Ah, I thought it was a good opportunity to have a look at some of the more common pinch points, failure items of one of these aging vacuum cleaners. And to check if it works or if I've got to find something else for the person that needs a vacuum. Let's have a look. Yes, hello, my vacuum cleaner chums. How are you today? Yep, yeah, just as we've seen, or you would have seen, hordes of Dyson DCO ones at the tip, and then a few generations later, DCO fours, sevens, fourteens, blah blah blah. I think these are a peak worthlessness at this current period in time, working or otherwise. People have just had them for so long at this point, they're bored even if it did work. And that's where people like you and me can get them for free or cheap and do something with it. If I can angle the camera correctly, yep, yeah, there we go. There is nothing in that wand at all, which is good. Nothing blocked. The hose, ooh, very clean. Not split, they split at the top fairly frequently. The only other thing to note, well I think I've got an entire top half in the shed, is it is missing its wand cap. That is fixed in there. You can get just a wand cap on its own and just clip it in. I, I, I saved an entire top piece from a scrapper at some point. And well, you know what actually, maybe we're going about this the wrong way. I mean, if we just bought this from the car boot sale for a fiver, we wouldn't just immediately tear it apart, would we? No. Think about it. We plug it in and turn it on. <laughs> yes, as I suspected, the lower hose has got. The lower hose has disintegrated. I I saw that in the car, and there is an alarming sound from the bottle. So I think everything else. It's going to be fairly standard really. We have a filter that was probably washed once several years ago, but now hasn't. We have hair coming out from inside the cyclone because of course, why wouldn't they keep it all in the bin? And yeah, it's not bad really. It's not what I would call that terrible at all. Let's have a gander at the post motor filter. Yeah, again, never been changed, but do worse than that. We need, I think, ow, to pop the red clip off, take this bit off and see how trashed I would imagine that small brush roll might be. Ooh, and a stick. <sighs> yeah, the bearings like to eat themselves on this style of brush roll. So we'll take this off. I mean, to take, you can tell that's not been off in a while because all of the fluff is packed up. I bet if we look Yes, look, the pivoting bar gets full of fluff. You won't see it from this angle, but in that join there, it's full of stuff. You, you can remove some more screws if you need. But what we're going to go straight for is the brush roll screw. The brush rolls are quite worn as well, which is a little bit of a shame. Although I see them worse. Now, if this comes out nicely... Oh, ah, OK, problem number one averted... The bearing melts off of the end cap, and if this and this are in two separate pieces, when you take it out, trash it, it's no good. Actually, that's, that's pretty much seized up. That's probably why it just sounds terrible. Let's, let's take the other one out, just to check. Yeah, on this era, you need a crosshead screwdriver. It's not a pretty job. And it's actually starting more on this side. All the fluff builds up underneath that bearing cap. It's ever so funny for a machine that must have cost billions of pounds to make. All the fluff builds up under the air cap, end, uh, end cap. And on the case of this one, it pushes the end cap up and just snaps it as it's rolling. It just melts itself apart, bless you. It's a, it's a fantastic design, really. 
if you think about it. And you've only just about started to be able to get pattern replacement brush holes for these. I'm going to say that that is okay. I mean, it, 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 it's a little bit sparse in places, but it's better than it could be. Oh, look, all the gunk. Oh, yeah, look at that. How lovely. All the gunk is there and there. But everything else should clean up okay. Yeah, the only last thing to oh, really notice, where is it? Well, it's here. And am I going to be able to show you? It is perished. It's all perished at the top. Well, there we go. That's a better angle. If you go into there. Oh, yeah, look, you can just see it poking through there. The inner hose is completely trash. So, all in all, this is, look, it's even got a tool. Look, I mean, what more do you want? All in all, I think this could be a goer. We just need an inner hose, the obligatory new set of filters because they don't cost a lot. And I think everything else could be salvageable. And I think rather than doing a whole after video for that job um i'm just gonna do the work and in the next scene hopefully this will be washed polished cleaned out and we'll be sitting at about ready for putting the inner hose on it's a couple of days later and what we want has arrived a brand new lower hose this was under six pound delivered and in the uk something like this would be a pound 52 pound a post so crikey they are getting cheap and hopefully it'll last a lot longer before doing that which is what the old one did so that's gone over there maybe we should try and fit it into the machine now from this way round, it's incredibly easy in fact we can cheat a little bit and sort of put it together a little bit out of sync so that bit Oh, goes there like so with that part ah, clipped into place trying to push the spring in ah there we go we'll do it a bit better in fact no no don't put the spring in yet because we need to put the short side of this hose into here whilst pushing that side on there it's it, it's certainly a lot easier doing it like this than when the machine is together although even this way is just a little bit fiddly especially with a brand new hose but eventually you'll get it seated like so with all the bits nicely aligned and it will sort of move it won't move perfectly yet now we can line up this spring here and with a small tug there we go that goes on to there then we can take this other side which goes in the other two holes like so and then we can put the four screws in two of them have little plastic caps two of them don't and they just go in back where they came out marvelous we have our spring bracket in place our hose holder and the whole thing flicks around pretty reliably indeed hopefully it'll do that for another couple of thousand more miles right now what i'm going to do is smash all of this lot together and come back when the postman's been again because I feel we should do something about these. Oh, well, this was more difficult than it should be. The machine is there and it's been sat around for quite a while now because I wanted to replace these. Now, these are the brush rolls that came out of it and to be quite honest, that's not the worst I've seen. I'm probably going to chuck them in the shed as a spare because it's usually this small one that completely kills itself and this one's fine big one normally survives but hey this could be better than another set so i thought i would buy some brush rolls and first of all i bought these which were listed as for a dc40 erp but they really aren't and the seller didn't really care straight away until i left in negative feedback and asked for a refund and now I've got all my money back so I guess I will do his request of changing my feedback to a neutral not a positive and he doesn't want these back which is a pain because no one ever needs DC40 Mark 1 which I think is what these are brush rolls because the head disintegrates on that era way before the brush rolls die so hot off the doormat this literally turned up 10 minutes ago from 
at least a more reputable seller, Barty Spares. This is a Pax and Pax. And I'm hoping, if they are correct, I think I can tell that already, that these will be the right size. And they are. They're a different design-ish, as these things have to be, to avoid getting sued into oblivion. Brush strips are a little bit softer, actually. But obviously, they're more there, which is the biggest thing with this job. So in theory, all we should have to do is line up the cog because there is a keyed marking. One of them is deeper than the others. Oh, there we go, there's one side fitted. Line up the cog on the other side, which faces a different direction. Possibly my fault for not putting the cogs on properly. That doesn't matter. And then we shall pop the screws in. With the screws in, our brush roll is done. Finally, I've been waiting all weekend for these after having to order the other ones on a Friday. It's now Monday. Oh, get rid of this. The person who wants it, wants it quite well. So I've literally had to tell her, sorry, I'm waiting for the new brush roll. It's going to somebody I know. So it's not the end of the world that it's a bit delayed. But, you know, well, that's why I shut the new brush rolls on because... I thought I would be nice. And now, hopefully, we have a good as new Dyson DC40. Now our spotlessly clean cyclone is full of fluff. Look how much fluff that's just picked up off the floor with those few little passes. Craw. Been using the Hitachi CV2000 for the month at the time of filming this. In fact, I've not long filmed the Dirt Devil Broomy being used. So who knows, maybe that will get rid of some of this, but I think the stiff brush rolls help. We might have to do a video where we get a curvy on this and perhaps see how much fluff it picks up. Do comment down below if you'd like us to go get the dirt beater on this with the heritage and see what happens. But, at least as far as this free Dyson DC40 goes, she is done and ready to go to a new home. So, yeah, bless these. They are at the bottom of their depreciation curve now, I think. I don't think in many years before we start to get collectors going, oh, I really want a DC40, just like my mum used to have. Crikey, that's a scary thought, isn't it? But not for us. These aren't a childhood vacuum of mine. I only like these for making money. I'm going to sell this for 60 Bit of a mate's rate. I've spent 20 on it. I had a set of filters, so I won't class that. New in the hose, new brush rolls, new filters. This thing is out of the box fresh, and it really is that simple. So there we go. I hope you have enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching, and I, and some other disgusting Dyson in need of a new lease of life, will see you soon. Bye-bye.